So Sensio Labs in France uh, organize all of the conference and uh, I helped uh, on site with uh, some logistical planning. But no, it was really a Sensio Labs France operation. Um, and I think they've done a really good job. Microsoft has um, graciously provided the space. We've had, you know, 100, 150 people here today um, and a whole set of good sessions. So uh, while I haven't done much, um, being part of just Sensio team and being able to uh, help coordinate stuff on site, I think I've helped with the hack days, et cetera. Yeah. yeah. So even outside of just the meetups, um, watching uh, businesses adopt Symphony has been really good because you have really small startups like Plancast and really large companies de developing. Um, I think uh, that's probably been the, the best gauge of how the community in the U.S. is doing is by the number of applications that we see published as well as by the number of job opportunities that are created. Um, when I started with Symphony, nobody really knew what Symphony was. It wasn't really well adopted. So having the Symphony as a skill set on my resume wasn't really that valuable because it was appreciated and it turned out to be really valuable for me with Yahoo because they hired me specifically because of that. But I think that is what is the, the best gauge. Over the past several years, all you, you've seen that there are more and more jobs that say Symphony Experience wanted, Symphony 2 Experience wanted, Symphony 2 and Doctrine 2 wanted. Um, and I think that shows the demand in the market. Um, and on behalf of Sensio Labs, I've worked in a couple different developer communities. Um, I've worked in several at Yahoo, from um, our application platform to YQL and YUI. And really watching this community works, it's about a business serving the needs of the business. Uh, in the case of Symphony and Sensio Labs, I think I've seen Symphony grow despite the goals of the business. The goals of the business have helped further it, but it's, it runs itself. The community operates itself. I think the, the biggest thing that inspires people to contribute is the ability, that it's encouraged. That we say that if you don't like it, submit a, submit a patch and send a pull request and we'll fix it. With It's open for change. I think opening the dialogue with the community that says we truly are open source. Not open source is just that we have a permissive license that allows you to use our source code, but that we actually accept contributions and that we work with the community. Um, I think that's been the biggest thing. That's what inspired me. Um, in 2006, Fabian really wasn't um, looking for many contributions. Actually, the end of 2005, right after he released it, he wanted to wait a little bit. Um, and I was sort of frustrated with this because I was like, well, I don't like the source. I want to change it. I want to do this now. Um, and it was difficult. It was, it was hard to get subversion access. It was hard to get access to the track and create all these issues and sum submit this. I think now that's totally changed. I think GitHub on its own has made coding social, and that m means that open source communities can leverage that. And I think that's the biggest change. That uh, Yeah, so I'm actually a big fan of the PHP unit integration and the debug tools. So I really like the web profiler. Uh, the web profiler, the biggest functionality that I like right now is that you can go through your application, make several requests, go into the web profiler interface, and go back to a particular request and see what has gone wrong, to see what has happened. Um, you get the complete log, complete exceptions, and I think that is extremely convenient. We had the same idea in Symphony 1, but you can only see the current request. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if I redirect it, what do I see? I have to go and check the logs, right? Um, all of these problems are now fixed. Um, and I would say my second favorite feature that I've seen recently is the browser kit component um, and the crawler and the, cl the test client component. Uh, essentially the idea that I can fetch the page with PHP unit and look with CSS or regular expressions or XPath expression and um, find content. But as well, since we're using PHP unit now, I can do continuous integration really easy with Jenkins. Or I can do code coverage reports really easy. Um, these are all tools that you could accomplish in Symphony 1, um, but it was much, much more difficult. There was a lot of hacking involved. In Symphony 2, it just works. And it works using the best of three components. It's documented and it's very simple. Um, yeah, so the debug toolbar and the new test client are my, by far my favorite features. Um, although, I will say, Performance is probably my favorite. Clearly, it's the fastest PHP framework available. Um, and not just PHP framework in an echoing hello world, but in a full stack application where you use forms, you use security, you use database access, uh, you use web services. Like All of these components are what add up. And I think Symphony 2 will be the fastest framework available for PHP. Um, it will also be the most fully featured. So I think the combination is a win.
absolutely crucial. Uh, the problem with PHP, and you may want to edit this out because it's slightly offensive, is that there's a very low barrier for entry. So for the longest time, you had lots of people that weren't really sure what was going on underneath, but were able to make stuff work. And you, in order to build real applications, you have to understand how everything works. Not just does it work, you have to understand why and how. And I think in the PHP world, there are more people that don't know why and how than in the Java and in the Python world. Um, so I think that makes all the difference. That's why you should know other languages. That's why you should explore other tools, different development methodologies. So, um, and it doesn't mean any one person is right. It's about taking the best ideas. That's why I respect Symphony the most, especially Symphony 2. It takes the best ideas, despite where they come from, whether it's Rails or Django or Java, uh, and we we build it into one community. If we can reuse it, we do reuse it. From the from if like a good example is Zen Framework 2 in the logger. If the code is there and it's high quality and it's tested and documented, we will try to reuse it. If it's not, we'll we'll add our own, but we'll make it open source and we'll encourage other frameworks or other projects to use that instead of creating their version. Um, I think I think that's crucial. Yeah.